The purpose of this video is to give a brief overview and demonstration of a gas sensor, gas sensor device that I made with Microsoft Gadgeteer. I'll be uploading this project, source code and such, on the tinyclr.com and in the code share, code share section for other people to look at or otherwise enhance and modify. So let's start this up. What we have here is there's three LEDs, one for each gas sensor. Right now the LEDs are blue that indicate that it's the device is in a startup state. We have three gas sensors. This one here is alcohol gas, ammonia gas, and this is an air quality uh, gas sensor. In here there is a temperature humidity sensor, and here is a, a barometric pressure and temperature. This is a Serbius uh, mainboard, Gadgeteer mainboard. This, of course, is a power module. Power modules are always red in Gadgeteer. And this is a network connection that we've got this uh, going to the internet. Now, what makes this uh, device a little bit different is that it communicates, uh, uploads its data in real time to thingspeak.com. Uh, and then it is displayed in these graphs over here. So you can see we've uh, we now have green LEDs, we've sent a reading up, and we'll see those uh, as they go. I've got a set up that about every uh, 50 seconds it'll do a reading. So what it does is it uh, has a timer that runs uh, for 30 seconds, and then it calls the, uh, the gas modulars, uh, gas sensors, for 20 seconds while it heats up the, uh, the sensor inside the gas detection sensor and then it takes a reading and then uploads it on to ThingSpeak. Now it, there are some different settings that I put in uh, for alerts and alarms so if the gas concentrations go above those we'll see the uh, LED lights will change, they'll start to flash uh, yellow for an alert, red for an alarm and uh, the other thing it'll do is that it'll send out uh, through ThingSpeak uh, a Twitter message that will appear over here on my uh, flip toast. Um, I have uh, some ammonia cleaner here so we'll just uh, put that out here and see if we can get that sensor to pick it up. Earlier tonight I was uh, experimenting with this and I managed to dump the cleaner which made my office smell quite nice for a while. So we'll just uh, let this uh, gas out or the ammonia escape here and it, then it should trigger that sensor and we should see it uh, go into an alarm state or an alert state. So this is the cup full of ammonia. It's always fun to try and hit that moment when it tries gets us uh, reading. So um, we've managed to succeed. We've got a spike, and you can see it on the uh, chart behind uh, on ThingSpeak. We've uh, managed to pop up quite a bit with the ammonia uh, gas. Uh, we have a red flashing light, which indicates a alarm, and uh, there'll be a, a Twitter message pop up here when this refreshes indicating that there is uh, an alarm situation and the uh, and the reading at the time. So now what I'll try and do is uh, fan a little air over to it and see if I can get it to uh, go down a bit. You can see it's already starting to go down on the chart. Well, like I said, it'll take a moment for the, uh, the Twitter message to show up. Twitter is not as real time as thing think things speak and so now we're down to a flashing yellow because our uh, our levels drop down below our uh, alarm level I'll just keep fanning it here and it'll blow some more air over there and dissipate that gas a little bit more and then it'll go back to a solid green now this is uh, I built this product this device with using Microsoft's Gadgeteer, which is based on the .NET micro framework. Um, I didn't have to do any soldering or anything. I'm a software guy, so uh, I'm, I'm pretty dangerous when I get a hold of a soldering iron. 
but the nice thing about with uh, Gadgeteer is that the modules are all basically plug and play. They are uh, object oriented in the sense that they all respond to events and such, which makes it now, now we're going to a solid green, so we're down below our level, which makes it really easy to build uh, prototype uh, devices like this, which is uh, the purpose, the design reason for Gadgeteer. It's a phenomenally powerful tool to play with. There's um, lots of different modules and, and lots of new modules coming all the time. Uh, there's vendors like GHI Electronics where you can get actually everything that's on this board is from uh, GHI. There's a number of uh, independent uh, third-party module makers where you know we have guys working out of their homes that are building some absolutely incredibly uh, cool modules and uh, it makes it all very easy to use when all you got to do is plug it together. You can use Visual Studio to uh, write your code in, so you get full de you know, debugging support and breakpoints and uh, everything else. Um, yeah, I've gotten to the point where I, where I'm, I love Gadgeteer. It's, uh, it's a phenomenally powerful tool and I enjoy using it every day. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you get a chance to uh, try Gadgeteer and I hope that uh, you enjoy it as much as I do. Um, the source code and everything for this device will be uploaded onto uh, tinyclr.com and I'd like to thank uh, ThinkSpeak uh, for having such a cool uh, site where you know we can put our data up in real time and it has all the features that it has. Uh, thank you very much.